Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Mr. Two Snaps here is, uh, <laughs> his name's Dustin. That's me. I'm the goofy bourbon guy. He's definitely the bourbon guy. Yeah, and you're the goofy music, music, music I'm guy. I'm glad you can't even say I it. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. Musician. Yeah. He's teaching us things about music, and y'all are teaching us about country music, so yeah. we're going to talk to y'all about this song and this bourbon which I think is my favorite kind of bourbon. It is a bribe. So, uh, oh, yes. you guys sometimes send us bribes to uh, propel your song to the front of our rather extensive list. It's literally above a thousand requests. So, yeah, lit, like it's almost at 2,000. Dustin actually tracks those meticulously. Yeah, it uh -oh. takes me a minute. Screw top? It's a screw top. So this, so I'm getting ahead of myself. This is two stars, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. I have been, I've done a little research on that, and apparently this is a Sazerac juice. So, okay. It says it's distilled and aged. Distilled, aged, and bottled. That's weird. I've never seen that in that combination before. By the Clear Springs Distilling Company in Louisville. Are they? Well, Sazerac's a... Yeah. They're a big conglomerate. Conglomerate of distilleries, so... But it doesn't mean it's not a Sazerac. It's a screw top. Is it screw tops long? are sometimes a, a, a bad sign, but we've been surprised I'm a, a few times. Like, I'm a little concerned. Because when you think, like, two stars... Yeah, that's like out of five. Out of five? Right. Oh, we'll find oh, out. We will find we'll out. Find, we don't. It's a bribe, so it's, it's going to taste we're, good probably anyway. We're going to drink it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's happening. And it has got uh, Sugarlands uh, down in Mississippi. Okay. Propelled to the front of our list. Sweet. So let's let's check it out. Let's see Real what. Quick. When I was pouring that, it kind of reminds me of a pot still. It kind of does a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, huh. I was actually thinking that about the shape of the bottle earlier. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Sugar Land, down in Mississippi. There you go. Hello, Lord. Sugar Land here. Same Saint Paul, Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> Thanks for getting us here safe. Let us have a good time. Let us rock each other so we can rock their faces off. We appreciate and thank you for the best job in the world. That's right. Amen. 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 Amen.
So, I kind of enjoyed the fiddle and the steel guitar in that. Yeah. Like, it was, and I think the fiddle more than the steel guitar. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, but I think he kind of nailed it up front, kind of the uh, honky tonk, upbeat honky tonk. That's what I got. Yeah. yeah, even before she started singing, and then when she started singing, I was like, it, "Yep, this seems like the kind of song you'd want to be in a busy place, drinking, drinking this. <laughs> Wait, exactly this. Yeah, <laughs> right. It kind of fits. Yeah. Holy crap. Cool. Yeah. Because this, this is not expensive. No, I looked it up. And that would be a cheap pour in a in a big bar full I, of I, people? I, I mean, bet this would be a $4 pour. I bet it would too. $4 pour. Maybe and, even a double. And I would pay that all night long. All Literally, all night listening to this kind of music. Mm-hmm. It's like... So, I looked it up. Thank you for the bribe. Yes. Uh, twenty-two dollars. <laughs> you know, um, I've heard the last one we checked out referred to as a good starter bourbon. So is this. I mean, so this one is it's quintessential bourbon, right? Like. This this is what bourbon tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know I, that sounds dumb. Yeah, but it's not wrong somehow. It's not, it's not wrong. And and what I mean by that is it's not complex. Nope. Uh it 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 honestly but it's a it's actually a pretty good bourbon because it's eighty six proof and it, it's pretty freaking smooth. It's got a little bit of kick. It's it's young. Like you can tell it's young. Maybe they aged it for two years. Maybe that's the two stars. The only flavors I'm really getting out of this are uh, oak and a little bit of citrus, and then the bitter finish, and that's just—it's just that simple. You're getting more more complex than I am because I get. So let me hit it again. I'm not saying it's. I get up like biting into a lime or anything. I get. Mm, I kind of get a lime. Now that you say that, <laughs> sorry. <Sure. laughs> yeah, uh, that's weird. So I get a little bit of sweetness up front. It goes, it rolls to that citrus that you were talking about. I found it, and straight into oak. That's that's it. That's all you get. Um, and and I'm I'm not saying that's it. Like this is a bad thing. No. Sometimes you just want a simple bourbon. You could drink this that's pleasing all night long. Yeah, and being at 86 proof, it's not quite as dangerous as some... Because this stuff's actually pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. And smooth can be dangerous. Smooth can get you in trouble because you don't realize how much you're drinking. You can't stand up. And then, yeah, you, you face plant off a, off a bar stool somewhere. <laughs> and then bouncer comes, has a little conversation, you know, throws you out in the street. Not that I know anything about that. Would you? Nah. You were the bouncer, right? No. <laughs> well... No. Anyway, I want to jump back to the song real quick. Okay. So she did something towards the end, like middle end, with her voice. So almost the whole song, she had that honky tonk twang that was just, and she was fast, mm -hmm. right? And then towards the end, middle, she like chilled out. She chilled out, but she put a little growly distortion in her voice. Yeah. Kind of give it a more gravelly kind of... And it, uh, smooth. She's kind of smoothed it out a little bit. Yeah, and that's a tool in a vocalist toolbox. That's cool. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It fit the song. It fit kind of the atmosphere the song was building. And it fits the spur. It really did. Like, they went together like... The, these... They were meant for each well other. Well paired. Yeah, for sure. So, uh person who bribed us and... Wishes to remain anonymous. Um, good choices across the board. You're killing it. And, and when we talk about soliciting bourbon bribes to uh, propel songs to the front of the list, this is an example of we don't care about price. Exactly. One thing that we're finding is that um, because we're learning about bourbons as we go. I mean, True. We're, we're knocking on the door of a hundred different bourbons we've tested on this channel. Yeah. 
And but, one thing we have found is that quality is not pinned to price. Absolutely not. Which is wild. In almost every other market, that's almost that's a, a hard, fast Yeah, you get work. what you pay for, right? Yeah, absolutely. Not yeah. necessarily with bourbon. Nope. We've had some really expensive stuff. We're like, mm, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. Maybe kind of failed to bit. impress. Yeah. yeah. I was like, why did I buy that? And here we are. We, we're a, a couple in a row now of pretty inexpensive stuff that's delicious. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Click the little bell button so you get notified when. Uh, New stuff drops, like these bourbon drops. Yep. Uh, and, re like, remember, get down on those comments, because every song we listen to, if it doesn't come from a bribe, it comes from your requests. Yep. They get tracked, uh, put on a list, ranked based on your requests. Um, so what we need to listen to, you need to tell us. And then if you don't want to send us something, but you have an idea of something we should try to find, tell us what to drink. Yep, absolutely. This channel runs off of your suggestions. That's true. I mean, really. 100%. Yep. So, hey, till next time, guys.